The question was, how can I keep my bow from wandering? So I'm, I'm, I guess that they're doing something like this. And, and the, the immediate answer is just to say what I already said about using some sort of mirror. You use a mirror, you can be like, you, maybe you're coming in like this, you can be like, oh yeah. Because if you notice, it's hard to tell when you're looking this way, when you, from your normal point of view, it's hard to tell if it's parallel or not. So you really need, unless you do something like that, but I don't recommend that because it takes you out of the form. So you can just kind of look in the, in the mirror or a video camera, new favorite idea. You, you would need a tripod for that. Try it out. Um, so that's a way to, to, to keep your bow from wandering. Another tip is just repeating myself again, but to use less bow. If you find your, a lot of times when people have big bows, they're kind of all over the place, like beginners. And so kind of, um, okay. Any tips on keeping the bow parallel to the string, parallel on the strings? I have a mirror and keep checking it, but it gets really distracting to keep checking. Well, that was going to be my main idea, Cindy, was to use a mirror. If you're, if you're really having trouble, trouble keeping it parallel, also shorten the bow length. It's, much, you're much, it's not going to make much of a difference if you... It's just going to be harder to get thrown off. You, when it's a little bit off, when you're doing longer bows, you're really going to notice it. But, but little bows, you won't notice it as much even if it's really off. So I'm not trying to encourage you to play with incorrect posture. You would need you need to keep looking and kind of gaining, you know, feedback from the mirror or video camera like I'm doing now. Maybe just practice Cindy, just practice short bows with the mirror and then gradually lengthen. Then look away from the mirror. Look back. Still parallel? Good. Go. Start to learn the way parallel bowing looks from this perspective. So I've got it somewhat parallel. Okay, good. Looking in my mirror. That's what it looks like. Checking it. Try that out, Cindy. Uh, and let me know if that does not make sense or if it does. But try that idea out for making the bow parallel to the bridge. Plus, the more you do it, it may be frustrating now, but typical, another cliche music teacher thing to say, just stay with it, and soon your body will figure it out, along with, you know, including your eyes and working with mirror and this sort of practice of alternating between the two. Ty Smith, in order to keep my bow parallel, I took two pieces of paper or two straws and gently put them into my F holes so they stand straight up. They work like training wheels. I like that idea. Be cool to like, hey Ty, I got an idea for you. If, um, if you could email me a photo of your fiddle with the, the, the training wheels on it, the, the straws, email it to jason at fiddlehead.com and uh, I will try to post that when I do like the summary page for this okay so that's a that's a cool idea i know that they make something too i, I had an in-person student who bought something that that kind of created like a little a little like highway for the bow to run, run on it was like these it's just kind of like i forget what the product is called but basically it limits you, your bow to only go parallel okay it's a kind of like a little it's kind of two rubber things, as I recall, and, and so you're just kind of forced to play in it. It's like training wheels, like what, what Frank, like what, see who, to what Ty said. It's similar to like training wheels. So you can try Ty's idea out or, or look for this product. I, I'll try to remember the name of it, so I'm making a note on that. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step by step course outline, color coded tabs, play along tracks sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.